All right, we get to dilate a figure. It is so fun because you just take the scale factor that they give you and times it by every number in all the points. So they kind of show it here where you do two thirds times whatever X is, two thirds times whatever Y is. So you have to find the points of each one. So notice that um, A is six, nine. So you do two thirds times six and two thirds times nine to get four, six. And then you, went, you will plot the point four, six, and that's your A prime. That's your image um, after you dilate by a scale factor of two thirds. So um, in this example, they just did two thirds times each point and they got a figure that was about two thirds. Well, that is two thirds as big as the original. So we're going to go ahead and um, do this topic. We get to uh, dilate this segment by three halves. So what I want to do is I want to find the points that are the endpoints of each of the segments. So this, uh, oh, let's see, I drew with my hand. Let me see here. So this segment is, um, or this endpoint is 12. 12. So I'm going to do 12, 12, and I'm going to do, um, wait, I should have done th times three halves. So three halves times 12, that's going to be the um, x value, and three halves times 12. So really, I only have to do it once. Okay, so two goes into 12, six times, six times three is 18. So my new point is going to be 18, 18, and I'm going to come out here, uh, I'll go ahead and do this one, 18, 18. Okay, then I'm going to do um, the second endpoint is 8, 6. So I'm going to do 3 halves times 8 and 3 halves times 6. So uh, 2 goes into 8 4 times, that's 12. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3 is 9. So my second point is going to be at 12, 9. So I'm going to come over here. 12 and up to 9. Okay, let's see if I did that right. Yay! Okay, so let's do another one. Um, okay, so we're doing three fifths. So we're going to have three fifths times and I've got to find this point, which is 10, 10. So 3 fifths times 10, 3 fifths times 10. 5 goes into 10 twice, 2 times 3 is 6, and the same thing here. So 6, 6, this point will be at 6, 6. 6, 6. Okay, then I'm going to do the uh, next point. I'll just pick this one here, which is 5, 10. So I have to do three fifths of five and three fifths of 10. That's going to be my next point. Five goes into five one time, three times one is three. I've already done three fifths of 10 over here. So my next point is three, six. So I'm going to come over here to three, six. Then I do the last point, which is uh, 10, 10. Oh, good. So I've already done uh, three fifths times 10 and three fifths times five uh, over here. So I'm just going to switch those two over. Six, three. Perfect. That's nice. We don't have to do a whole lot of math. So I'm going to plot this here. And then what was it? Six, three. There you go. Oh, let's just do one. One more for kicks and giggles. So much fun. I love doing this. Okay, so we are going to be using um, three halves. So three halves times, what point is this? 12 and three halves times eight. Two goes into 12, six times, six times three is 18. Two goes into eight, four times, four times three is 12. So 12, eight is going to move to 18, 12. Oh, wait. So 18, 12. 
And then my next point, I'm going to do this one, which is 10, 12. So I have three halves times 10, three halves times 12. I've done a 12 already, haven't I? Three halves times 12 was 18. Three halves times 10, this goes in five times three is 15. So that point will be 15, 18. So I have to go over to 15 and up to 18. Okay, and then the last point is 6, 10. Oh wait, I forgot to do times 3 halves. I've done 3 halves times 10 right here. 3 halves times 10 was 15, so this one's 15. Half of 6 is 3 times 3 is 9. So this one's going to be at 9 of 15. So I'm going to connect this and 9. There you go. Nice. Man, that's so much fun. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.